Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G. Shrimp, everybody, fan, baby, daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in, we in the studio with it, y'all. Now, it's kind of late, and I was just up, you know, chipping through things so I could get my situation together for tomorrow, y'all. And I run across these things here. Let me just say this, y'all, to young people. You trying to be cool ain't cool, bro. You know, the police is watching you. And then once you are a convicted felon or even before you get convicted, if you catch one case, they own you, bro. These guys here got caught. He showed his gun on social media, y'all. And they knew he was a convicted felon. And you would think, damn, they really be watching it? I tell y'all, every day, the police watch YouTube. They got YouTube divisions, y'all, where the police, all they do is watch YouTube. And guess what? It ain't like they trying to watch everybody. They monitoring the violent offenders, y'all. They monitoring the people who known to have guns, the new people, the people acting a fool, the shit that go viral, everything. So they on top of everything, trending shit. They know when you harmless. They know when you talking shit. If you get too heavy, they call it a hate speech. They watch all this, bro. They watch all this. Now, listen at how they crack these two fools right here, y'all. You would not believe this. And here it is. You, I mean, you just would not believe this here. See, I've been had it off too long. Oh, oh my God. Uh, there we go, y'all. Let's get it back working. There we go. Let's get it back working, y'all. There we go. Pardon the body, but here we go. Look at how they catch these boys, y'all. We get back to the IT made now. A post on social media led police to suspected drug traffickers and illegal guns. IT made Cody Fisher reports now. Court documents say that detectives saw Deshaun Taylor dancing around holding a gun on his Instagram story. That sparked the investigation that led to his arrest and the arrest of Galkel Weathers, along with the seizure of drugs and guns. Pounds of marijuana and about three ounces of meth were taken off the street because of the investigation at this apartment complex on the west side. This is where detectives tracked down 20-year-old Dewan Taylor after he posted a video to Instagram of him holding a gun. Taylor was already facing the charge of possessing a machine gun, so it was illegal for him to have a gun. When detectives tracked Taylor to this complex, they saw 20-year-old Gakel Weathers holding a gun and going in and out of a breezeway at the apartments. Weathers was on house arrest at the time after pleading guilty to possessing a machine gun, so it was also illegal for him to be holding a gun. Police first arrested Taylor during a traffic stop after they found guns in the car. Then they got a search warrant for Weathers' apartment. That's where they found the marijuana and meth and more guns, including one with a machine gun conversion device on it, Look at turning that. it into a fully automatic gun. Being able to get those five guns off the street, one of which included a machine gun conversion device, uh, we can't go into it. We, we can't say just what we prevented by getting these off the streets. These two individuals were known violent offenders. IMPD says the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force focuses their efforts on suspected criminals like Taylor and Weathers. Here in 2024 alone, they've taken 125 crime guns off the street and upwards of 90 violent offenders. Now you see that? Now they just telling y'all, they telling you what they doing. They just told y'all this. And here it is, these guys still go online. Now, I don't understand. These real thugs already. You got switches in your house. You got drugs and all that. Why do you need that extra attention? You all on Instagram showing the guns with the switch. For what? For what? And then, listen, when the police came, right, they watched them. For y'all who don't know, when they say they seen him going in and out the breezeway, that's basically just the doorway of the project, the little built complex where he stayed. When customers would come, he probably walked out to the car. 
And they say they synced them with the gun because these you boy, new, new young guys, they so silly. They want everybody to know they got a gun. So he probably had to hanging out, his pants sagging, walking, and niggas, boy, folk clutching. Look, folk got that bitch on them, boy, look. Folk got that bitch on them, don't he? Everybody he served can see the gun. Including the police in the unmarked van across the street. They, look at this asshole. And they like, they didn't even go in that day, y'all. They went, got a search warrant, and came back. And then, check it out. Technically, they didn't even need a search warrant because the other damn fool was on house arrest. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch, y'all. I'm telling you, pay attention to what you do, y'all. For real. Now, let's go to this next story right here, y'all. This one right here. Let's see what they talking about. Is Korean that easy? How would you say good morning in Korean? Gotta yeah, let you two get their money, y'all. The family of a Cape Coral teen murder suspect is now also facing charges. After the 16-year-old was arrested, Cape Coral police say his mom, aunt, and dad threatened to kill the family of his co-defendant. These are the two boys charged so far in the murder of 15-year-old Kayla Rincon Miller. Investigators say Christopher Horn Jr.'s family wanted to keep Thomas Stein's family quiet. Kayla mm. was walking with two other girls from the movies along Southeast 16th Place back in March. When the group was ambushed and Kayla was shot. NBC2 Samantha Romero walks us through wow. what detectives say Horn's family did to try to make sure Kayla's family never got justice. I'm sorry. Janice, it's okay, huh? Christopher Horn Jr.'s mom phoning into the courtroom just hours before police arrested even more members of her family. The two new arrests were just recently this afternoon. Stein is another teen charged with Kayla Rincon Miller's murder. Today, new documents revealed exactly what led up to the arrest of Horn and his family members. It all begins with Kayla's murder on March 17th. The new warrant says the day after the murder is the first time Jessica Stein was threatened by Christopher Horn's family. It says Christopher Horn, accompanied by his mom and dad, went to Stein's home. They told Jessica Stein she needed to come with them and she needed to bring her son. Fearing for her life, she and Thomas followed them to a nearby park where they were apparently surrounded by sisters Varaka and Shanice Stewart while Christopher Horn Sr. sat in a car nearby. They allegedly told Jessica Stein she needed to keep her son quiet. The warrant says Christopher Horn Sr. flashed a pistol. It goes on to say Shanice told Stein if someone took her child, then Shanice would, quote, take one of hers. The next day, March 19th, Cape Coral Police pulled over Thomas and Jessica Stein's rented car along Bayshore Road and arrested Thomas. You can see it in this video. Yo, what in the North Fort Myers is happening right now? They got this lady out at gunpoint. Then on March 20th, the warrant says sisters Shanice and Veronica Stewart returned to Stein's house, threatening Jessica again. Jessica Stein told police the sisters told her Thomas was talking too much after his arrest. They said they had people on the inside that could get to him. That same day, NBC2 talked to Jessica Stein. The detective came out and spoke with me and told me that that my son has been investigated for the murder in Cape Coral. Ain't that a bitch, y'all? Ain't that a bitch? The whole family, y'all. The whole family. Look, we I got to stop right there. I got to talk about that. Now you wonder why these kids so bad, y'all. You wonder why the kid's so bad. The whole family, listen, this boy, mama, and then first of all, y'all go uphold this nigga, and he killed the girl? What, he ambushed him, what, he was trying to rob him? Even if you was robbing him, how she get shot? Okay, yeah, I know some people got mouths and shit. Fuck you, nigga. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna blow that bitch. You ain't gonna blow that bitch. Mm. And she don't look like that type. He just probably shot her. With the inspiration he getting from his family, he blew her down anyway. 
and had the little scary ass white boy with him and he already knew he was going to tell so they bent right on him the police wasn't even on them yet y'all you see how crazy this is the police wasn't even on them but they went to him listen you better shut the fuck up shut the fuck up about what the bitch we killed yesterday what the mama like what 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 bitch mama scared to death she don't know what's going on then they told right they picked the mama and the daddy up and guess what the daughters go go finish with the dumb shit what y'all thought daddy them was stop i guess they thought daddy them just got pulled over on the traffic stop and they picked them up that's what they thought yeah, daddy them got pulled over there in jail now. I know one thing, that nigga better keep his motherfucking mouth shut. I'm finna go over there today and tell that bitch he better keep his motherfucking mouth shut. My mama and my brother in jail, hell no, nah, I'm finna go over there. Stupid bitch. Now, guess what? The whole family is together. Y'all might not be together technically, but y'all in the same building. Like y'all be putting in on the other uh, thing. Such and such in the building. Yeah, well, y'all in the building now. <laughs> y'all in the building now. That's crazy. And let me just say this, y'all. Did y'all know they said, uh, Lil Baby was in Atlanta, uh, what's this, yesterday? Day four yesterday. And he had a video shoot. And you know how Baby pull up stunning, y'all. They got them brand new cyber trucks. They got Cadillac trucks. They got Rolls Royces. They got everything. All them niggas riding slick. Whether it's his cars, however, the whole team moving around, y'all. And that's how baby them ride for real. They just they real shit, y'all. So obviously, if some ops people don't like baby like this, or I won't say they don't like him, y'all. They hating on him. He just they like, oh, this just too much, man. What this nigga this too much and he a crip the blood's probably like man fuck that shit we finna slide G straight up man listen the niggas we be banging with this the nigga be getting these niggas guns Joe Yeah we finna if we get this nigga out the way we we done hurt him boy we done hurt him this how niggas plot y'all broke nigga make the best crooks and they tried to slide on little baby and my thing is this, rich as you is, baby, why are you still trying to pull up in the hood? You don't excite them. You don't inspire them. You tease them. You make them feel how broke you. Sometimes they like to say this, y'all. Oh, uh, it's for inspiration. Nah, it ain't. You putting it in niggas' face like, ah, nah, 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 nah. And here it is, they broke, they can't get one car, and you got 15 goddamn luxury cars, and they looking like, look at this. I'm getting two on pump one, and I got a switch, and this nigga got 30 goddamn nice cars, and he ain't giving nobody nothing. They hate us, y'all. People go hate on you, and when they hate on you, they will try to hurt you. They got these guns. What else they going to do with them? They they just glad to say, Hey, boy, you see we got that little baby ass? Hey, boy, we blew that bitch down, didn't we? You see that truck? Boy, we hit that bitch up, boy, didn't we? And guess what? They repping off that in the neighborhood. That's all they want is a reputation. You got yours. You getting money. So their reputation is being gunslingers. And if you a thug and you ain't realized that by now, you've been getting money way too long to even be still trying to stunt. You supposed to be renting out places, a motherfucking racetrack where y'all can drive them luxury cars around the circle in peace. You supposed to have police there. He got armed guards, y'all. They got legal to carry that, but they ain't going to get no respect from no op. The only thing going to stop the ops from trying to slide on you is the police. So why not hire them? Even if you rented a car. Even if you rented a car. You know what I mean? That's crazy, y'all. Man. 
It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, baby, baby, daddy, boss of the street, man. My plant you not dig you later. I'm out of here.